distracting women from the hatred of the protesters. Or an abortion doula holding women's hands and offering support and love as they end their pregnancies. And I expect he would have a stern word for self-righteous legislators who use abortion as a political issue rather than showing compassion for the people seeking abortions. Today, on this Row Sunday, I wanted to share some of the stories we have collected because these are the sacred stories of women's lives. If Jesus were giving his sermon today, he might also have said, Blessed are those who end pregnancies, for they will be known for their loving kindness. I have been pregnant four times. I have had two abortions, and I have two amazing children. Each of my reproductive decisions, to have children and not to have children, were sacred decisions because they reflect the moral responsibility of reproductive power that is part of our inheritance as human creatures. Each of you has a reproductive story. And given that one quarter of American women will have an abortion by the age of 45, I imagine some of your reproductive journeys also include abortion. Blessed are those who end pregnancies, for they will be known for their loving kindness. Reimagining our theological understanding of abortion is essential to addressing the violence that is being done to people across the country in the name of Christianity. In the face of the rampant reproductive injustice in our society, what does God require? of us.